you can't just like Take it in and watch the money rush Cause they the opposite of what we are They say is they don't get too far Have a vision that we're going on Bad camera, got your clothes That's what's like your spirit Alright, do you think you're in that? Why do people speak a certain way when they're around their friends, family, or in public? Um, they speak a certain way, like when they're around their friends, um, because they just like I guess they're just used to like speaking in slang and stuff like that. Um, and they speak more with like manners and respect when they're talking to their parents, because well, you have to, or else they'll be disrespectful. And in public, you can't just like be like, hey bro, yeah, you know, like cool, like that's kind of like, you know, I don't know, childish, but you have to like, make it seem like you're... Why do people act a certain way when they're in front of their friends, family, or in public? I think um, they act the... Uh, like a certain way when they were with their friends because they just want to have like that young, wild and free type of like experience. And when they're with their family, they just want to have like those moments that you're like all bonding with them. And it's kind of different with being with your family than your friends. Because when you're with your friends, you're just like, you just want to chill. And then when you, you're with your family, you just want to make like memories and to remember them, you know? It's like kind of the same thing, but kind of like more, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. And then when you're in public, it depends like on your personality. Some people like really don't care like what others think, but yeah, I guess you have to just, I don't know. Leave education is more important to a certain ethnic group. If so, which ones? Yes, I believe um, education is more important to, uh, um, it's more important to some ethnic groups. Um, it would be uh, whites, Chinese, Japanese, and Asian. Why? Why? Um, well, Chinese, in an early age, since they're in sixth grade, they take a test to determine if they're going to continue in education or if they're just going to drop out and start a job. Do certain ethnic groups patronize education as their first priority? They um, would put it as their first priority um, because, well, it really depends on the culture. like. I don't want to start like I don't want to sound like stereotype or anything, but Mexicans, their Mexican parents, they tell their kids to um, focus more on education, just because they don't want to see their own kids go through what they went through. And while while um, blacks, um, they just like they really they really don't care about their grades. They focus more on sports, and while whites. They're like really good at school sometimes. Being <laughs> in a different environment, for example, like in church or with your family? Um, yeah, I would say so because you want to set the right impression to a certain people in a certain group. Like, say you're at church or something, you don't want to act over there like you do with your friends, you know, because like it's two different groups and it's not the same, you know. So, I believe I'm more American than Mexican because I'm communicating more through English than I do in Spanish. I believe people that make fun of their own race are embarrassed of certain type of person in their race. I've been made fun of before because I don't pronounce the words in Spanish correctly. Question one. Uh, how would you feel if your wife made more money than you? It didn't bother me when she did. Do you think women are starting to become more independent? And if so, do you think that's a bad thing? I think they are becoming more independent. I don't know that they're making an overt effort on that. And no, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's I think it's I think it's overdue. Oh, do you think men are superior drivers? 
I don't think driving ability has anything to do with gender. Do you think women in our society are more indirect? And should they be? Like, how, like indirect by how they speak? No, like, I don't think they're more indirect. I think there again, it has nothing to do with gender. I think it has to do with verbal expression or written expression. How do you feel about the app, Yigek? Yigek, I don't really care about Yigek because I don't have it, so I'm not really, I don't really care about it. But what I have heard is that, like, it's just basically somebody can put something about somebody else that may not be true, and then, like, they may hurt their feelings. But, I don't know. Uh, how would you feel if someone was talking about you and Yigek? I mean, I don't really care because I know what, what like, what I have done and what I haven't done, so it may be true, it may not be true, but I don't even care because I don't really care what anybody else thinks about me. I'm just doing me. How do you feel about the media app, Yik Yak? Um, Yik Yak, I don't like that. It's a stupid app because, I mean, they just make people feeling it. And they have, they have no good to say it with me. Uh, how would you feel if you found found out that they were talking about me on the app. I mean, I, I feel pretty bad because it's not true. We're going to talk to keep, keep it going. I think it's a rumor.